All right, first food stop of the day is for ceviche, and I looked up a bunch of places that I'm sure are all fantastic, and then I watched the Street Food Latin America on Netflix about Lima, and one of the highlights was Altoque Blas, which is a cevicheria. It's a whole story about the guy who makes it and everything. It looked super good, great reviews on Google, so excited to try it. Quick review of the ceviche. Looks delicious. So oh, that's good. Definitely has to have the sauce. Makes sense with the sauce. It's takeout only, so the sauces are all separate. Very good though. Very fresh tasting. We got the combinado, so it comes with also a seafood rice um, and some calamari. That was delicious. Mm. Big fan of that. Aside from our ceviche earlier, we're actually on a guided food tour today. So we're just getting started now through Haku Tours. Excited to explore some of the local markets with somebody who actually knows what they're doing. first restaurant on our food tour and we are going to start out with some seafood. I assume we'll have some ceviche but I'm not really sure what else we're gonna have so I'm excited to see. All right we've got some ceviche, some calamari, some seafood rice and then we also have some type of wrap with like avocado and crab meat inside and then also some octopus with olives. Lots of options. We're gonna be very full. Here we got cactus, not my favorite. Cucumber melon, very good. Favorite. Passion fruit, not bad. Not as considering how you eat it. Pretty good. Mango, very good. Very normal. More passion fruit. Sweet passion fruit. Less good. Pink banana, tastes like a banana. Lima, good the first time, not as good the second time. I don't know what that was. Light orange. First time was almost like cutie. first market we went to was in Cerquillo, which is close to Miraflores, which we're close to where we were staying after our lunch break with the delicious seafood. We're over here now in the second market, which is called Surco. Surco. I think it's close to Barranco, which is a little bit more well-known around here. So excited to try some snacks. Our tour guide, Amadeo, told us that Lima is the gastronomical capital of the world. So when you come to Lima, you need to eat. There are several Michelin star restaurants, like really fancy, and it kind of just goes along with I feel like what we've been eating, which is nothing but good food. Many stalls in the market are closed. They're apparently under review from yesterday's earthquakes. We're gonna pop outside and see what we can find out here. This is what I've been looking forward to this whole trip, Peruvian you donuts. Some, you need some honey? Very fresh. Good, good. Our last stop for the day, we've moved on to the Barranco district, known for all the art and color and the houses and around the neighborhood. This area is kind of more of like a boho feel, lots of colors. They said it's a Usually pretty cloudy here in Lima, so all the houses and everything are very colorful, trying to brighten up everybody's mood and spirit and just add some more color to the city. The other thing about the places here is that many of them are like old mansions or houses that are now turned into like shops and restaurants and other interesting places to visit. And now we're gonna get ice cream. If you've ever made a pineapple, you taste the pineapple. I like the chirimoya better. Lucuma kind of tastes like pancake batter, and then Jeremoya, I can't figure out what it tastes like, but I like it a lot. The 
bridge behind us is the uh, bridge that you're supposed to walk over with your loved one. You hold hands, you make a wish, and then you hold your breath as you walk across to the other side, and then your wish should come true. up our food tour with a walk through the Bronco district and then grab some Pisco Sours to cheers to the end of our trip here in Peru. We had such a great trip. It was such an adventure. Um, we really just enjoyed being with our family here and getting to experience Peru a little bit more. But overall, Peru was amazing to us. We were so excited to be here.